Hello there and welcome back. We always get excited here at Achanda. Okay, when we've got a new supplier, and as you can see there on our screen, that's exactly what we are bringing to you in the next hour. Brand new company called Rita Rita, uh, with Spanish heritage, which I'm really looking forward to learning more about. And of course, as soon as we hear that word Spain, we instantly think of our fabulous Paula. Paula's going to be here guesting for this hour. I'm going to kind of sit on the sidelines and learn a lot, I am sure, because of course she's one of our fabulous presenters here as well. So I think it's only right that I hand over to our lovely Paula and she takes over from here. So Paula, over to you. Well, thank you so much, Haley. Now it is my pleasure to introduce you, well, the company that is Rita Rita, or, um, you know, we can call it as well Aluathid. Uh, Aluathid is the name of the brand of the stands, but it's also the name of a fabulous designer in Spain, in Northwest Spain, in El Ferrol. Uh, and it's a city in Galicia as well. So it's I'm really, really honored to be representing this brand because I met Alua back in 2012 or something like that in Madrid in one of the shows, uh, paper craft shows, and she was so lovely and so talented. And then, of course, she started uh, her own YouTube and channel and started sharing her uh, drawings and sharing her watercolors, and people demanded her to create her own line of papers and stamps. Now, we have got today, all of course, it is brand new here to Hochanda, and we are gonna start with a beautiful set of four stamp sets. Now, as uh, we can see, it says Rita Rita, but Aluathid is the name of the artist, but also the brand of the stamps. Now, this is a contains four sets. You are getting, uh, the one that you're seeing at the minute is Lost Boys. You can also buy them individually. So the details of the for the bottom of uh, for the individuals are at the bottom of the screen. Now you can say that although they are designed and made in Spain, they are English words because we worked with uh, with Alua to make sure that everything you can use as well. There is a couple of words that later on that they appear in Spanish, but they are decorative, so they are more kind of in the background. But these ones, look at that. That one is of course the wicked wicked witches. And then we have got Be Brave, which I adore. I think it's one of my favorites. I, and you can see the inspiration coming from some stories, but of course it's completely different rework artwork. So that is absolutely fine. And then we have got words like Be Mind, True Love. And then, oh, I love this one as well. Wonderland, isn't it just gorgeous? Uh, now you have got here the ability to color very easily. I have taken my alcohol markers more than anything uh, because I just loved them. But actually this one that we are going to start with, of course, the Wicked Witches, um, I use my pencils. So because I wanted to dress a different ones, I wanted more textured for them. Uh, I'm not the be big world's best colorist, but I just wanted to show how you can color them in different medium, depending on how you want to use them. Then we have got, uh, I enjoy very much to do creating, of course, a shaker card, because I think they do uh, work really well with shaker cards. But you can see that a little fairy with her name Tinkerbell is inside captured in here. Now. Look how beautiful, look at the hook in here. Look at that, it's so cute. And uh, never grow up is a trap, and I think that's such a good uh, message. Now, if you're thinking about these beautiful papers and acetates, we do have got them on the show as well, coming up next. And look at that, that's one, of course, the Wonderland uh, set in there. Gorgeous, I just think that they are cute, they're funny, and also they are more importantly, really easily, easily um, color. So it's some beautiful photopolymer, excellent quality. And look at that. I just love that. What about this for a wedding uh, invitation or a wedding card? And of course, our, our, um, our uh, floor manager, Kirsty, was saying how, I think it's brother or uh, somebody in, in her family. It was it that, that, sorry, kind of, uh, it's doing the wedding. Oh, sister. Oh, all right, sister. Anyway, so <laughs> it's like kind of a, it's just doing a wedding. Anyway, so somebody she knows in the family is doing a wedding kind of thing. I, I kind of, sorry, it's too early. I did late today. Um, it's raining the whole story. Anyway, sorry. But you can see that you can do things. But look at the wicked witches in here. Look at you can do things like that. 
let's magic make magic. And I think this is as a bookmark that would be quite cool to have them load it upside down and get lost into these books. If you're under a complete collection, you have got the details on the screen. You are getting 52 individual stamps. I use the words as well on their own for a scrapbooking and other items. Uh, and you have got in there all those beautiful elements so you can mix and match and create your own uh, fairy story should you wish to do that. 55 pounds and 99, 96 pence is of course the price for the whole bundle you have got two flexes at 27 and 98 pence and if you want to flexify then that means that of course opens a flexi basket so you can add other items in there now, should you wish to go the for individuals, we do have them on individuals, so you make sure uh, that you could do that, uh, you consider that possibility. And of course, because it's based in Spain, it's all everything is dispatched from the 7th of June. Now, this collection is incredible. It's one of those incredible collections that I fell in love as soon as I saw them. It's called Alma. Alma is sold in Spanish and it's a very reflective collection. It features beautiful girls in them. Beautiful, it features two photopolymers, well actually four because it's, it's the little ones as well in here. So you are getting, look at that beautiful script. This is what I was referencing about words in Spanish. It's beautiful script in the background. If you know a little bit of a Spanish, you can read them. But uh, they are so uh, they are small enough that you can bring them as background writing. It's all about, you know, for instance, there it says, my, my heart beats fast, you know, my, you know, I think of all the goodness. Look at the constellations in there. They are incredibly beautiful. You can stamp them and emboss them. Uh, it's a lot of detail, but I love as well these girls because they not only they are pensive and reflective, they are also kind of, you know, sometimes, especially I think in the last, you know, couple of months, we have been thinking about different things. And I think I will personally, I relate a lot to, to this thoughtful process that they have got in here. You can create something like this, and this is going to be my first demo. And you can see how I use these stamps for the background and then I have a stamp and emboss. And this beautiful acetate is included in this bundle because we are also getting, and I'm gonna go through exactly what, so, uh, well, I'm gonna show you as well that you are getting a bullet journal, which is a grid dot in here. Good quality, it's really good quality. And it comes as well with a little card. Look at that, how beautiful. And a beautiful bookmark as well. So it's a really good quality. Um, stuff and kind of look at that how big is that really lovely so I'm going to show you I'm going to move over here to show you exactly the pack of papers I'm going to put it into the easel because it's much easier that way so we have got in here a die cut sheet so you have got all these elements in here so the the girls pop up really easily and this is some of the projects that you can do so I just put it onto a lid of a box and then lay and of course I use one of the sentiments from the uh, Be Brave stamp set, so everything kind of coordinates. Because I love that kind of pensive mood. Now, this is one of my all-time favorite acetates, and I have to say, when I showed to uh, Leone, she was in love with it as well. How gorgeous, it's a 12 by 12 printed onto white acetate. It's, oh, it's so gorgeous. So I have made bases of cards with it. It's not the thickest acetate, but it's not the thinnest one either. So you have got perfect to make a smaller cards. Then you have got this printed vellum. Now, again, it features words in Spanish but they are kind of a script in there so they are not too big in there you know it's just absolutely phenomenal and what can you can do is things like this and a, 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 you know a, a scrapbook page maybe page featuring pictures uh, and here I was in in there in Iceland so that kind of goes in around it. So you could write, a, and then of course here, these ones are the uh, die cuts that it says leave a, uh, a footprint. And of course it goes so well with this picture. This is one of the pages that you can do. Then you have got the six uh, by four uh, cards in here. Now these papers are double sided. So you have got always another option in the back. Look at that. And the paper is around, I would say 160 GSM. Uh, and you have got like it's a nice beautiful page. Now this is the, pa the paper that I use for this uh, scrapbook page. Now this is my friend Ali and again I just featured her with a few die cuts and that was all it was. 
Then we have got the back, of course. Remember, you have got the back. Then we have got, look at that. How gorgeous are they? I mean, I'm going to go much quicker now because I'm taking my time. But uh, then you have got the printed paper as well of the Mapa Mundi, uh, of the world map. Then we have got, look at that, another girl. I love how you have got those beautiful papers. Then you have got the constellation into that soft pastel rainbow in here. And then you have got more of a plain background as well in the back. Then you have got, I love this one, the, and it, everything that you get from this. This is the star, but it's kind of the starry night. But look at that, how gorgeous is that? Look at it. and I love how all the elements kind of mix and match. And they have got more ditzy prints, more bigger prints. Love that one as well. It's just, and then the, so the other side, how gorgeous it is. It's soft muted colors, which means that for scrapbooking, it's going to be absolutely perfect. Uh, if we, c if you can see it here, of course, the um, you know kind of different pieces of clothing because it's all about winter as well. But we can mix it up, and you don't have to use them there. And look at that, gorgeous. So you can see, and then I'm the, this is the end, finally. Uh, you can see how much you're getting in this bundle. It's a phenomenal bundle. It's one of those bundles, if you wanted something a bit different, I remember brand new here at Hochanda and really hard to find. Like, uh, you know, one of the reasons Alua wanted to work with us was because like, kind of, well, she is a, a Spain-based company and it's like kind of, I, she wanted to bring her products to the UK and what a better way to do that uh, through uh, Hochanda. 69 pounds and 95 pence is of course the papers there's four sets of stamps the uh, bullet journal as well you have got in here the acetate the die cut sheets you have got of course the vellum it's all of it is amazing now you have got a freedom price of course um, is and it's a white not deal because you are saving more than you would be uh, spending for your freedom membership 62 pounds and 96 pence is your price and of course that means that you can there is flexi so you can spread the cost in two interest free payments of 31 pounds and 48 pence and if you're a freedom member of course you do not pay p and p so it makes sense to become a freedom member and by the way if you are watching from spain i'll say it in spanish si veis desde españa podéis ser miembros también del free del, eh, del, del, del del equipo de no del club de, de freedom de hochanda más detalles en la página web hochanda.com uh, just just shout out in spanish because there might be there might be some spanish people watching and if, Alua, if Si estás viendo, uh, un beso enorme. I just said that if Alua is watching, a massive kiss to her. I, I cannot speak Spanish, it turns out. 696-740 is your item number. It's, of course, that bundle. Uh, I'm really excited because I can't, but it's harder than you think, go switching uh, languages. Uh, now this, I love this one. This uh, stamp set makes me smile and really does make me smile. It features two stamp sets in here, and uh, for 15 pounds, uh, I th oh no, that's, uh, sorry, wrong details. Uh, thing is coming up, don't worry. It, you are having here seven stamps in total. You are getting Love Spring and the uh, Summer. Now, I have to say, again, it just makes me smile. That girl munching into the watermelon and dear summer it's like, it's like yeah she's having a fun time and then of course you have got the love spring in there now what you can do of course is a beautiful stamp area uh, card in there very quickly very quickly uh, a, a color in as well and it's one of those ones that if you are not a very comfort confident con color in her this will make fabulous sense to go for 15 pence and 99 pence is your price 046820 is it right and then we have got uh, uh this collection is also one of these smiley collections i just see them and you're thinking oh isn't it gorgeous and it's the picnic collection you are getting the 12 by 12 pad uh the it's actually pad so it's bound on the top and you can see that is a massive pad you are getting 24 uh, pages and you are getting sorry 24 of impresses uh, printed in one side and then of course you're getting 12 double-sided so you are getting 36 in total they are made in spain they are of course assay free and linen free and they are 190 just some sorry i said before 160 is 190 but you can see some of those ones now it does feature some of the words in spanish but i kind of love uh, well this one is actually if you're wondering it says dear spray 
covering. But it's also just kind of those words that is nice to have. You can cover them up as well uh, with other pieces of paper in there. But you know, you have got verano, which is summer, but most of them th feature like words even in English, sunny days and summer. So it's a mix of both languages. Uh, and of course, if you have got friends and family that live abroad, then it makes a lot of sense. And this is a little project that I made because of course it features those four, uh, four by four uh, panels in there. Well, four by four paper. And you can then just kind of do something like that. Can you imagine putting pictures maybe inside here or talking about your favorite things about summer? And hidden. So it's just a quick and easy project. And then also the other thing that you can do is something like in a frame, Use the die cuts because in this collection you are also getting a, a die cut. So then you can decorate it and then use this as a, as a kind of um, whiteboard. So you can then write in here whatever you just like. I need to get ice cream, obviously. Uh, then you have got also stickers in this bundle and then you are getting the Love Spring a stamp set as well. So all of it, I mean, it's a massive bundle again, but you are getting different elements. Should you wish to go for the paper part, it does come on its own if you want it. The details at the bottom of the screen. If you wanted to flexi buy it, you can, two payments of 22 pounds and 50 pence. 560514 is your item number. Why not find everything on the website because you will find the individual items and all the bundles are there. Remember that the individual stamps uh, you know, are available should you wish to do that or maybe the pads. Uh, also, I haven't mentioned that there is a pad from Alma which is the the beautiful watercolor more inspired papers that you can find on its own uh, if you want it uh, it's, it's about i think it's again it's 36 sheets and they are single-sided at uh, 48 sorry that one is 48 and it's single-sided and you are getting two sheets of each of 24 designs yeah, i think that's correct and it's 15 pounds and 99 pence that is the price there right uh what else we will have in the show well we do have of course don't for, don't forget of all the other items that we have got there for you uh, right uh, can I, could i have the yeah uh, i just need the, the screen there no, the, <laughs> right right let's do the first demo so i'm going to use alma collection and the alma collection comes in with the stamps now you can get them on their own i believe as well but if it I love these stamps. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of uh, watercolor card. I haven't trimmed it to size, but then I can always do that later. And put it onto my stamp platform, secure it with magnets. I, you can use, of course, an acrylic block. Personally, I just once that I kind of got used to, uh, of course, using an, a stamping platform, that was it. I'm going to put her there and then close my lid and then gonna put uh, I'm gonna use uh, dry fast ink because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do late well I, I am but, you know kind of that is what I kind of do like unless I have an idea exactly how I'm gonna color it I will go in with a hybrid ink so therefore I can then go with watercolors or alcohol markers now, because it's an, uh, I'm using a platform, I can re-ink it and then do a second time so I get a darker tone of black. Right, let's see. Let's see. Look at that. Can you see how fine those details are? I mean, it's just like the tiniest of detail. And I love even her eyelashes. It's just so cool. It's just, it's just one of really, really cool. Then, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, let's see if I have brought it in here. Yeah. Uh, I have got these masking sheets. They are from Fix It, I believe, and they're on the website. So uh, you can then put it in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to put it there. I kind of have moved my, um, my stamp, but you can see it doesn't matter the position. In this time, it's just cutting or stamping onto the masking sheet. And this has got a very low tack tape that tack on the back. So you have it there. And then what you do, or what I have done, is take my scissors and I have created, I cut it out and you have got a mask, a perfect mask. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna take her here and you can see the stick and then place her over the top in here. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut her a little bit more at the bottom. I didn't do that, 
because I want some of the color coming in. Okay, and place it there, and then like this. And that is because then I'm gonna take a piece of acetate. Well, actually, I'm gonna use, no, I've gotta use a piece of acetate, the backing of the stamp. And this is a technique that both Leone and my friend, Julie, well, Leone obviously is my friend as well, but uh, my friend, uh, Leone and uh, Julie Hickey, uh, you know, they both do it. So then I'm gonna go in, Shall I go for a little bit? Oh, I'm gonna go in. I just kind of want, to, oh, what color shall I go? Oh, shall I go for purples, like pinks? I don't know, I'm just gonna do something different. Yeah, I, th I don't know if that was gonna work as well, but anyway, just gonna. So what do you do is just kind of go in a little bit of color in there, or oh, yellow. I'm gonna go pink and orangey yellow. And by the way, I'm using Sentimentally Yours um, water base. Uh, water based brush pen and then I kind of go in and then kind of just do a little bit of color there and then just kind of go in there and then so you can then make sure that you have got that element in there now that makes it a little bit of softer colors and then we're gonna do a little bit of yellow in here spread some water and then then kind of there kind of and that is a quick and easy way of coloring in now what i'm going to do is i'm going to dab a little bit and the more that you dab it the more that the color is going to become softer so it depends how much you want to do now i want some more color in here because i want to more contrast so I'm gonna, what you can do is go back and add more color here in the corner so those areas where it comes close to the image and then there is a little bit of pink there it is and then I kind of blot it and then I should take her out and look at that can you see how she stands completely pristine now the other thing I'm but I'm going to put it back because what I need to do is a stamp I'm going to take the background stamp you know that beautiful script and where is my block really block and just going to go in it doesn't matter that is um, a little bit too big the stamp for this one and it does say words like, for instance, uh, you know, in my heart, for instance, say, en mi corazón hay espacio para querer y, perdon y perdonar. Oh, y perdonar, yeah. Uh, so it's in my heart, I, my, there is a space for lo to love and forgive. Uh, and it's just really nice, beautiful words. And then you can go in here. See, just adding that sort of soft effect in there. And then there, just kind of go in there. And then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna put the stamp. I should have brought, brought the bigger block, shouldn't I? But when I have got the stamp platform, I always think, oh, that's enough. There we have got a little bit of words, and then there. Then we have got the other stamp set that we have got in here that features the beautiful, um, I love these uh, stars. Now, of course, if you were a little bit more um, kind of prepared than me, I would say, uh, well, not prepared, you know, at home I use embossing powders because that kind of went really well. But, uh, you know, sometimes embossing powders take a little bit of time in, um, what's that? This is, what do I have in my stamp in there? Uh, if, well, I have got um, gilding flakes. Uh, now, but, for the purposes of the show, I just wanted a little bit quicker. But look how gorgeous those stamps, you know. Um, now, by the way, remember that if you want the stamps individually, we do have them on the show, and the details are at the bottom of the screen. So, oh, they are on the screen, sorry. So they are at the, le so if you want them, by all means, go for the stamps on their own. They are photopolymer stamps, they are beautifully, uh, qu beautiful quality, and oh, they stand so nicely, don't they? And just like that, the stars in here. And then what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take her out there. Look at that. I, don't, I love that. I really, really love it. Now there is this cons constellation that is a little bit like um, a crown. Right, the mask, you can reuse it. So put it back onto the packaging so it's ready to use for the next time. So I'm gonna put that aside. And then the mask, I'm gonna do it maybe, maybe the same color. You know, oh no, shall we go for pink? 
for pink raspberry, which is my favorite color uh, from this dress, well, the favorite pink. And then I'm gonna put her there. There, just, just a little bit something, just like a little crown, just something. Now, I'm gonna, gonna do the next is, I'm gonna bring in, I'm gonna give her blue eyes, just because I, I like blue eyes. Um, you know, it's one of those things, isn't it? That when you know, I have got such a dark eyes that I like dark, uh, lighter color. So what I do on is I do again water brush in here. So this is from Phil Martin. Put it a little bit onto my um, my acrylic block, and then just kind of just make sure that this one there is that there isn't that much water. Let me put another brush in here. You prepare everything to the here. There is more water in here. Let's see. Yeah, that's kind of a look. Then, then do a little bit and then just blend it in. Just very subtly, just kind of adding this color into her eyes. And I just like that. Just a tiny touch in there. And then leave everything plain. So basically the color is behind and she's standing out. Right, so then this could be, of course, a card and, and as it is. And you could put a sentiment in there. Oh, what I've done is I've taken my acetate that comes in the pack uh, with the big collection, the Yalma collection, or you can buy it on its own, I believe. There is, um, yeah, uh, so that one is the one that comes with the papers, the vellum, the acetate, the die cut sheet. And uh, what I've done, just cut it in half, and then you have got a gorgeous, beautiful card. Now, it will stand nice and tall, ni nice and proud as well. Right, so what I'm then going to do is going to trim her so to trim her I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a piece uh, so I'm gonna do it by eye I always do it by eye and then I regret it but do as you wish uh, right I'm gonna do it like that so and then I'm gonna take my trimmer so more or less I have left the same border around it and by the way Alua has got a massive YouTube channel over 60,000 followers there so if you want to give her a um, you know follow or look for, uh, for her inspiration she is really talented and of course it makes it worth to have a look at what she does now for the speed of the demo I'm gonna just use a runner a tape runner and then kind of put it in here at home I probably will use red liner tape and again I would have put it uh, in the center area because then that means that you have got a little bit of glue in here so you can take some die cuts and then cover them up or you can take maybe a piece of black card or something like that to disguise it. Then we have got I think from uh, a center, uh, this is from the paper pad as well, it's double sided but I just wanted this one and again it has got a beautiful script, now you don't have to put it of course you have got plain areas that ha they don't have any script but this one is such a beautiful saying, it says el regalo de la vida de este planeta hermoso de esta oportunidad preciosa de dejar una huella it's like the gift of life in this beautiful planet to leave an, a beautiful imprint so i think that is a really nice beautiful sentiment now actually to do this i'm going to do the black first so i'm going to place it right matting from the back so more or less it's the same area and then i'm going to put again can you see putting the always the double sided tape in the center so that way when it's a little bit smaller doesn't even show and you have got that in here now what i would do here is maybe take a piece let me show you what you can do uh, let's grab it so we have got from the same paper, that's the one that we, I trimmed this piece, you could then tr the other side and then you can trim that bit in here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that bit in there and then that's gonna cut, oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And you have got the constellation showing there as well. And it's, it's oh, I love that. And you have got the acetate with the stars coming through it. And of course, what you can do then further, because of course you can always do a little bit more. Where I put my glitter, there it is. You know what, I prepare it all so well and I just forget where I leave everything. I'm gonna do in here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. So I'm just gonna go with a tiniest amount of glue. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter and just kind of really literally 
put in little dull and then get those stars sparkling like our Jimmy, the director, and Aaron, of course, uh, Ross, the producer, and Kirsty, you know, the floor manager, and, and Haley presenter. Uh, although apparently, Ross stars is burnt, burnt out, yeah. I mean, he's only like 12, but he already is like, uh, no, we do not employ 12 years old. Let's just make it very that clear. It's just he looks well. Right. And then I just use him. <laughs> and I'm going to say what he's said because he's quite funny. He's fat, hilarious. Now, of course, I'm going to put a little bit of... And then that's going to give us a little bit... I mean, of course, the static from... But look, I love that. Look, can you see a little bit of glitter coming through? Just a slowly. Okay, look. The, yeah, yeah, there it is. There it is. That's perfect. So that is going to dry, of course, completely clear, and that glitter is going to be sparkly and beautiful. Right, so that is uh, the uh, card. Now, some of the items have got flexi, so why not find more about uh, a flexi order here at Hochanda? Leon is here to tell you more about it. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. In shows like this, it's so advantageous to use um, at your Flexi Order. And don't forget, you can add in things from other shows as well or things that you found on the website. So don't worry about that. Whatever goes into your basket, if it's at £60 or more, or you've already got an item in there, then of course you can spread the cost of everything. And this is a show definitely to be doing that because everything works together so well. Such a fabulous company. As you heard there from Paula, something that she's very passionate about is this wonderful brand here of Rita Rita. And of course, we have now. Is it Aluathid? Is that right? Aluathid? Well, yeah, very I got good. a thumbs yeah. up for that. Um, featuring as the artist within here, um, this, well, in all the artwork that we're looking at, to be fair. These are fabulous. I mean, as you heard Paula say, we've got them together in a fabulous bundle here where you've got your £4 saving. They are available individually, so if you do want to jump onto the website, you will be able to find them. But we are going to bring those details up at the bottom of the screen. Now, 14 99 is the price that you pay for each one of these. And I love the simplicity of the design. gives you so much scope. That's the key thing. So we're whether you're wanting to bring in your pens, your colouring, don't forget 11 o'clock we've got a show coming up featuring lots of pens that would be perfect to work alongside these, then why not add some of those in when we get to that hour. But they are brilliant. The quirkiness, the fun, the traditional story behind some of these pieces as well. I think that's the key thing. But they're just fun little characters. Um, and they've got huge personalities behind these, as you can see there. Um, just love the designs. Love the constellation feel that's running through the entire collection as well. Um, I was having a little look to see if I could recognize any of the constellations featuring from some of the other elements but um, they haven't I haven't been able to find any I'm not very good with me um, astrology and things like that so uh, no astrology astronomy it's the other one isn't it <laughs> but uh, fabulous characters as you can see here the quirky little uh, kind of elements with them I mean that one there with the bow tie I mean it's so adorable if you wanted to make a really fun and funky style wedding card then that would be perfect little girl featuring in there as well and of course when you start adding your color and start out in your detail that's when these little characters really do come to life love this idea here this kind of acetate wrap that has been created and stamped with the lovely constellation elements there but of course you have got your little characters on the front um, and then of course um, other little cute cards you could be they're just so cute these little characters you can see here um, again the the hair color could be whatever color you want to make it the clothing um, and I love that never grow up it's a trap 
It's a trap it is. Stay as a child forever, even if it is just inside your head. Now, 650353, um, such a fabulous set. They really are. And, of course, um, our lovely Paola is thrilled to be able to be bringing them to you because um, they just sort of got that quirkiness about them. They're just like our little Paola. I think she's the perfect person to uh, show these off to their full potential. So if you want to go for the complete set where you've got your Lost Boys, you've got your Wicked Witches, you'll be brave and you're also Wonderland within here. 52 stamps in total, my goodness, there's a lot of stamps there. Um, it's working just a little over a pound a stamp really when you look at that, isn't it? And that is really good value for money. Um, and I think you're going to love these. Now you've got two Flexi order, um, sorry, flex buys on this one. Spreading the cost, £27.98. And as Janice explained to us, that means you you can add anything else into your basket and spread the cost of those items as well and if you're a bit like me and you like the look of these and you want them all in one go that is the perfect way for you to shop and I do urge you to jump ahead and have a little look on the website if you have just joined us we've got a brand new company here um, Rita Rita we've got the lovely Paula who's going to be demonstrating I'm going to head back over and see her in just a few moments but because of it being an overseas company and based in Spain then uh, we are looking extended delivery with these so it's just the 12th of June which to be honest is going to be here sooner than you realize i mean the time is ticking away isn't it now the next collection i think is beautiful i love this stepping away from the uh, the kind of the outline elements that we've seen there i absolutely adore this range the artwork is so incredibly beautiful got those lovely kind of muted tones with these pastel tones those restful tones i think that's the thing with these they have just got a lovely kind of fluid look to them the ladies the characters featuring in here have got that gorgeous look about those eyes and those eyelashes my goodness amazing and of course you've got little script elements within here that are going to build up your design the constellations again appearing here and again uh, whether they are um, realistic that first one looks like it's like a frying pan and I remember one of them being a frying pan or a saucepan I'm not very good but you go off and do your own research some of these may have a little bit of poetic license to them um, but either way it gives you the confidence potentially to make your own little constellations perhaps you could do that as well lovely characters with these stamps and you'll notice the characters going throughout the whole range we've got more to share with you so there's lots of elements that work well together you've got your little houses again featuring here and again you know how to put these together to create a, a almost like a little montage almost of your own little street with these but of course there is a lot that you're going to be able to do with these now the paper pad um, pack that you've got here isn't just about paper what you've got here you've got all sorts of different elements you've got these die cut pieces to start with um, so you can see that you can die cut and pop out these little characters right the way through and of course you're going to be able to use those then you've got the most amazing vellum now the cover sheet has just dropped away there but don't worry too much about that the vellum is beautiful you can see that you can overlay if you wanted to but the vellum has got that gorgeous um, constellation running through it as well really clever design um, and I love that almost like color wash that you've got there on the globe isn't that amazing that's something you could take inspiration from I think and perhaps create your own little backgrounds with those beautiful there quick trip around the world then you haven't even had to put your shoes on love that idea um, the next one that we've got here this is where you can see those little constellations coming through it again and I love this it's kind of like an overlay that's been created with these again all the different elements featuring here but this is a double um, this particular one has got the acetate on the front as you can see there sorry I should have mentioned that you've got your acetate with you that's not printed onto your, your paper um, the acetate there you could have a wrap around as we saw with the card a few moments ago let me bring the card back in again that gives you an idea of how you can work Work with that acetate of course characters from this first set at the bottom of the screen those stamps if you want in them but the beautiful artwork that is the key thing with this range love these really really do i mean it gives you the ability to perhaps use some of your watercolor techniques alongside these maybe take inspiration from the artwork the backdrop that you've got and have a little go yourself now each one of these 12 by 12s is double-sided so you've got a beautiful image on the other side as well as you can see here you've got die cuts in here you've got your vellum sheets you've got the stamps that we've already looked at but beautiful colors nice restful easy colors i think that's the thing this is you kind of almost feel relaxed when you can't with this just through the colors and I mean that's the, the kind of effect color can have on the, your, your, your whole being really isn't it again you've got some there that you're going to take inspiration from perhaps just beautiful effects give you the kind of encouragement perhaps to experiment and have a little go yourself constellations again coming through here but of course you could be adding a little sparkle to those couldn't you adding a few little gems within the double-sided with each one of these as you can see here so just quickly going through these just to show you 
how amazingly beautiful these papers are throughout. Call them papers, I mean, they're really good weight to these. More muted tones there with the greys. Greys always work so well. And there she is again, that absolutely beautiful character there, again with the overlay of the constellations. Fabulous. Really is a fabulous bundle. We have got some 12 by 12, 12 papers available as well as a paper pad. I'll tell you the details of those in just a few moments, but I'm just knocking everything over. Just need to reset everything while you feast your eyes on here. And I love this. I mean, the uh, photograph that we've got here of the lovely Ali. Just, it's just perfect, isn't it? With the little hat and the character, and uh, Ali with her ca hat on there as well. It just looks amazing. Really, really lovely set. Um, and of course, that is just um, just one way of using those papers that are coming within this one. I haven't even mentioned the bullet journal that you're getting in this bundle. And this is quite a substantial thing to have in a bundle for the price that we're looking at. Again, really solid quality with this one. Again, on the characters feature, you, know, you could add additional elements if you wanted to pull out some of the die cuts. But then you've got, obviously, the paper papers are going to coordinate throughout turn it into whatever you need it to be but of course you have got elements there to get those creative juices flowing and perhaps to get you organized that is the key thing as you can see here so uh, you can see all sorts of plans going on here um, and lots of lovely pages to fill here I love this what's on the, li the lifts there oh we need some oh for the oh I know all about this I'm looking forward to this uh, this project is going to be one to follow definitely so make sure you do keep an eye on what Paula's doing on social media because I'm sure it will evolve. Now, if you fancy this particular bundle, getting yourselves organised and having fun and getting creative at the same time, then this bundle is the one to go for. 696-740, absolutely beautiful. Freedom members, I forgot to mention, you've got a discount on this one as well. Bring it down to £62.96. So if you fancy getting hold of those, please do so. Um, I'm just going to grab that paper pad behind me, if that's OK, just to show you that. I did a little turn. Did you like that? A little turn. Always make it take the long way. Always, oh, I've gone a bit giddy now doing that. Um, now, the 12 by 12s, you'll recognise some of the papers from the set that we've just looked at at the moment. This time you're getting two repeats and you will notice that they're single-sided. But some of them, look at that. That is incredible absolutely beautiful there that page there you get two repeats of those and that one has well similar one has gone literally into a frame you don't have to do much more than that with these do you um absolutely gorgeous throughout and again those gorgeous watercolor effects um the background papers that are going to coordinate i love the way that you know when you have your tear away strip at the top here you've even got a paper ribbon that's attached there so nothing has gone to waste with this one and you've just got those gorgeous designs coming through over and over again if you are going for the set that we just looked at with the bullet journal in there then I will certainly be adding in these at 15.99 they are brilliant value for money um, at 662.826 if you're wanting those so yeah do make sure you get those in um, 48 sheets in there 190 GSM and I don't know if you can see this picture can you see it let me step back and just show you that look at that and that's what I'm talking about just put it into a frame don't need to do anything more than that absolutely beautiful Love it. There you go. If you fancy your 662826, um, we've got lots and lots that we're going to be sharing with you, though, so uh, don't go anywhere. Just one more bundle to share with you before we hand back and have a little look at what um, our lovely Paula's up to. And this is another lovely range. I love the fun and the humour behind this one. Um, we've got stamps to start with. So looking at the stamps here, you've got your, do, um, your two sets, as you can see. Seven stamps in total. You've got your lovely little lady there feasting on a watermelon. And then she's going to, well, you can't, haven't really got calories to burn off with watermelon, have you? But she's taking a little bite ride anyway. Um, and love spring. I mean, what a lovely sentiment to go alongside these. Lovely little idea. Again, simplicity being the key with these because it's just the fun, the, the fresh look to these that I think is the thing that's so appealing to this. And I love this. Absolutely beautiful. 1599-046-820. I've just heard we've only got 10 minutes left, so quickly going to show you the next bundle so as we can get back to see what our pile is up to. Um, and again, this is a lovely bundle. You've got loads. Die cut elements, as you can see, you've got your fabulous papers in a variety of different paper stacks. You've got your 6x8, you've got your 12x12, 12 12. you've got die cut stickers, stamps, they are all within here. Absolutely beautiful. These are all die cut, all ready there for you to use. Don't need to do anything with these. Away you go, stick them in place, put a bit of foam pads behind there, more watermelons featuring there. Beautiful. Really fun bundle. Um, lovely for the summer. Absolutely beautiful. Now, the 12 by 12 pad that you're going to get, again, there's a lot of content within here. You'll recognise things like the stamps that we were just looking at, but doesn't she look different when she's actually done? Let me just bring in, oh, excuse me, the card that we looked at a few moments ago. Looks totally different with different colouring. 
totally different um again in here you've got your 12 by 12 with all that fab fabulous content that we're seeing there um, running right the way through um, some of them you can add color to if you wanted to it's uncoated so you've got the freedom to do that some of them you may want to use just as they are but you really have got a beautiful range and lovely tones everything's totally correct that's the thing that we love about this running all the way through there and there you go if you're wanting to create a page, then you can do, or obviously a fussy cut around the lady on the bike, and away you go. Did you notice as well some of those ones that have got um, a double sided finish with them as well, going through that paper pad? So if you fancy your paper pad alongside all those die cut elements, then the details are there on your screen. And of course, you have got your stamp featuring within this bundle as well. And you'll recognise that one because it's the one that formed part of the duo a few moments ago. Just a different way of getting hold of it. 560514, everything that you've seen here has um, been put onto the website. So you can peruse at your leisure. Um, as Paula mentioned at the top of the hour, they are available individually in many of these elements, including the wonderful character stamps that we saw. So if there is something that specifically you're wanting to go for, but just on its own, that's not a problem at all. That has all been covered. Pop them into your basket, but do make sure you're checking your baskets out. It's been very, very busy. Um, brand new supplier, Rita Rita, here um, at um, Hachanda, and I've got a feeling they are going to be back. And our lovely Paula has been showcasing the products and what you can do with them so we're going to head back over and see what Paula's up to for the next part of the show what are you up to Paula uh, well I thought I would use uh, the beautiful uh, you know the one the Wonderland set and then we have got it I absolutely adore her him the cat of course I'm gonna lo love the cat and of course uh, the rabbit so I thought using that stamp set also some papers from uh, the uh, picnic collection so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp, uh, I have done some preps, imagine me doing some prep. Uh, now, of course, we have got here, um, I think he's adorable. I love that he's a little bit, you know, we can recognize those characters, but of course, they are, it's an artwork by, uh, by Alua Feed. It's a completely original artwork in the sense that he, she has drawn it. And it's just so gorgeous because immediately we all can think as well of people in our life that they look a little bit like this i think this one also i love that this could be a girl it could be a boy it's it's up to you how you you can see it. and then you can see there the stamps now look at those little words that you are getting as well dreamer happy kid belief in magic you know those words lost in wonderland hey good looking um i'm just saying that to to, to both of the boys and the, the of course the girls as well um there we have it oh, look how gorgeous he is now what i'm going to do then is of course i'm going to start uh, coloring in i'm using alcohol markers because they tend to go for those colors so i'm going to start wherever you start that is fine i like to do the bigger areas first or the, the areas where I'm more I don't really know what I'm doing with basically because then if what it means is that if you mess it up then you can always you know you, you can start again without having to ruin the work that you knew what you were doing I don't know if that makes any sense but now what I do is I have done with the lighter color in here and then I'm going to go with the darker one. You can do shading on in this case. I'm going to just go in and I'm going to kind of color it. Now I have to say, and I'll say uh, Alua is a, an amazing color in her as well. So if you follow her on Instagram, Alua Fade, like exactly like it's a spell like this, it's Alua Fade, you will find her artwork and she's just so inspirational and she has beautiful photography as well. Then we are going to go in with the, lit the darker one as well. And, and she's much more talented than uh, as a colorist that I am. So you kind of go like that. So this is how you've kind of start coloring. And then what you end up is, oh, and let, let's do the face as well. I'm going to go in and I, see, I mix and match different um, manufacturers of alcohol markers. It's up to you which one you have. Um, most of the times they say not to mix them because of course they do have got slightly different um, you know configurations of inks and formulations I kind of 
you know, I go with what I have, so I don't have skin tones in Copex, so I then I go in with gra uh, the Graph Masters, and then I kind of go in a little bit to add some cheeks in there. So, you know, you keep coloring him. I mean, look how quickly I, it was just to color that. And then I trimmed around, and I need to do his hair, and I'm gonna do red hair, because I do like red hair. So I'm gonna go in with the um, lighter color, so I'm gonna go in there. So a little bit of them in here. And you can see I have cut, um, cut already to those elements. And then, and then it like that. Oh, look at that. And, uh, yeah. And there it is. And then like that. And you see, uh, this is uh, depending on what coloring method you want to go. So then I'm going to go with a darker one in here. So add a little bit more. I mean, this is, he has got good hair, hasn't he? I mean, look at that. N maybe, a le I mean, I think uh, lockdown, um, you know, has made his hair a little bit like everybody else. We all need a haircut, don't we? Uh, and look at that, just like that. Hello. Oh, look at that, a little bit look in them and then I'm going to come in and then I think it needs a little bit of color in here so I'm going to go in with blue just a little bit of color in there now obviously I have that but I have to say that this from a start to finish what takes about five minutes because uh, I've already done it I did a, did a little bit of prep but well but that was not long at all and then I have the rabbit as well so what I have done is I have taken this piece from the picnic collection and then I'm going to take, where I put my tape runner? I'm such a messy crafter. I like things off the page. I just think that they have got, especially with them, and then with them they have got such a character. And then I'm going to go in with a stripe, again from the picnic collection, and kind of a slide it there. And we will travel one day again. I mean, and then trim it the back in here and then from um, we can travel together that the director saying shall we travel together and I was like well we can uh, right and then I have done again from the same pad these this uh, it's a beautiful dotty paper and it's the sort of paper that is very useful to have because then you can cut a banner there and then I think I'm gonna put him there and then here look at that so there, I like that. And this is like, this is the thing about these collections. No ma they all also mix and match. You don't need to, oh, what it needs though, is a little bit of edging in here, black edging, just a little bit, just to make it a stand up. And again, the papers are from the picnic collection, and then I'm using the uh, Wonderland set there. I like that. It just kind of adds a little bit of that this shovel look that it has got now oh because i want to of course i want to sh mm, now i want to see england and i want to see spain so i'm going to put her so by the way uh, alua lives around here well it says that's el ferrol galicia up here northwest so that's that's where it is uh right and i was born around here and I grew up in here in that little dot. Anyway, too much information. Uh, but uh, you know, it's just kind of that. And then needs a sentiment. By the way, I kind of, of course, I smudged it because that. But don't worry if that happens. So I'm gonna say, belief in magic because I think these days we need a lot of belief in magic. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the back of this paper. And I'm gonna take my. Memento ink. Uh, by the way, uh, I have used Memento ink for the uh, alcohol markers, but you can use hybrid as well. Believe in magic. There it is. That's perfect. And then I'm going to trim it to side. And then I'm going to do a bit of a little bit like that. And then that will go there. So I like that. I really like that. So I'm going to take my foam pads that I have got here. I've got the bigger ones, I like them, the bigger ones. Okay, and then, <laughs> and then put that in here. And just put it there, in here. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of foam, uh, another foam pad 
in here and another foam pop in there and that is going to create that oh i love and and you can then do what what uh leone always or or, or Lou with the says to do. By the way, check out your baskets for these amazing, uh, gorgeous uh, collections. And remember, those stamps are part of the bundle, bundle, but you can buy them also individually. By the way, shall we give away to Haley? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Haley. Yeah, beautiful, I loved it. <laughs> and I've managed to finish the cards. Oh, there. I love, I love these stamps and please do check them out. Remember that you can buy them individually if you want to do that. Uh, $14.99, the details are at the bottom of the screen. Of course, the bundle uh, has got the saving. Do go check out the website for everything that we have got. And thank you so much for joining us. And I hope you enjoy your Alua Thid by Rita Rita uh, collections. Whether it's the papers, the stamps or everything together, it all makes